What's going on YouTube? My name is Tom Davis aka Dark Transmissions and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you my top 10 tips and tricks to help you get a thousand likes on Instagram within 24 hours. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so like I said, the subject of today's video is a top 10 tips and tricks to help you get a thousand likes on Instagram within 24 hours. Now I just want to say before I get into the video, it's not absolutely important for you to get a thousand likes or more within 24 hours, but for the sake of the algorithm, I just want to explain why it is important for you to get a relatively a good amount of likes within the first hour or so on your post. The way the algorithm works, very briefly speaking about it, the way the algorithm works is when you post an image, uh, Instagram shows your image to a certain number of your followers. If a certain number of those people who it has showed it to like that image, it will show it to even more of your followers. If even more of your followers like the image, then it will show it to more and so forth and so on, showing your image to more and more people. What you're really looking for is you're looking for people who don't follow you to be seeing your post. That way, what it means is that Instagram algorithm has decided that your content is worthy of showing it to people outside of your following base as well. I'll get more into that into the algorithm in a future video, but I just wanted to say for now, it's not really important for you to get a thousand likes within the first 24 hours. It just means it's a, it's a kind of a good benchmark for the success of your post if you do get a thousand likes. But I just want to say, if you don't manage to get a thousand likes or you don't manage to get a thousand likes straight away, don't beat yourself up and don't let that be something that gets you down. It's not the be all and end all. At the end of the day, creating killer content is the be all and end all. And that brings us into tip number one. So tip number one is create killer content. Now this probably goes without saying for a lot of people out there or a lot of people who are creating great content don't really think about it, not on a conscious level, but creating great content is your first step to doing well on Instagram. The better your content, the more compelling it is, uh, the better looking the thumbnail is, the more likely people are to click on that post and the more likely people are to like that image. Uh, if you're creating the best quality content that you can, then you're far more likely to start getting more likes and more and more uh, engagement on that post. Uh, so tip number two is switch to a business account. Uh, a lot of people out there are still using personal accounts, which is fine if you just want to stick to a personal account and keep it simple. But my advice would be to switch to a business account. When you switch to a business account, you get access to a whole lot more than you do as a personal account. You get a whole range of tools, including insights. So number three tip number three is use your insights to figure out what time is the best time for you to post when you switch over to a business account after a few days it'll start giving you insights on your followers go into those insights and have a look and see where they're from so for instance for me on my account most of my followers are from the united states so what i do is i try to post my image at a time uh, in in ireland where i am where i think that people in the united states are most likely going to be on their phone so for instance i always post around 8 p.m in ireland which would be about 3 p.m in new york and in la i think around a uh, 10 to 12 p.m. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head right now but during those times people are either uh, going to work or they're on lunch from work or they're just coming home from work and they're far more likely to be on their phones and they're far more likely to see my post if they follow my, follow me for my content so definitely switch over to a business account and start using your insights to figure out what time is the best time to post uh, it, you have to play around with this as well because it is a variable uh, for instance uh, at the start of this year, I used to post my images around half three in the day, and they did really well. But then they stopped doing so well, so I played around with it and I changed my times. I went to half past four, half past five, half past six, until I eventually got to around eight o'clock. So between 8 p.m. and half eight here in Ireland is kind of like the sweet spot for me. So play around with it every day you post, post it at a different time, and find that sweet spot for you. But also, use your insights. They are so important, and they are there for a reason. So tip number four is don't use promotions. Instagram, when you switch over to a business account, is going to try to encourage you to use promotions or to literally pay money for them to show your posts to more people. This is a kind of false economy. First of all, when you use promotions uh, and then you stop using promotions, what happens is that Instagram, the algorithm, will choke up your engagement. And the reason that they're choking up your engagement is they want to encourage you to promote again. Now, I'm not saying this as someone who has inside information on the algorithm. I'm just saying that from like personal experience and from experience from 
uh, people that I've talked to, or the people that I've talked to who have promoted posts, and those posts did okay, they got a decent amount of engagement, and then when they stopped promoting them, then they got no engagement, as in less engagement than they were getting even before they were promoting the posts. I have a feeling this is Instagram's way of saying, hey, you know, you need to keep promoting your posts here. Uh, it's kind of like their way of sort of scaring you into continuing to promote your posts. Spending money is false economy when it comes to promoting your posts. The only time when promoting your posts is really going to work is when you're prepared to sink 500 or 1,000 uh, euro or dollars into promotions over a, a long period of time with a dedicated targeted ad campaign. And most individuals out there just don't have access to these funds or, these, or the time that it takes to put together a marketing strategy or campaign. So if I was you, I would go for genuine or organic engagement and don't bother promoting your posts at all because it really is a false economy. So that brings us to the next tip, which is number five, engage. Probably the most important tip on this video is to engage. What I mean by engage is to get out there and be an active part of your community. Like images, comment on images, share the work of the people you follow, and they'll share your work and their stories as well. Be active, be engaged, be a part of the community. Whatever it is that you belong to, whether it's dark art or whatever, like I say dark art because that's where I am. I belong to the dark art community. So what I do is I go into, I go into the dark art hashtag and I like a bunch of images. If I see one that I like, I'll leave a nice comment and it's kind of like my way of saying, hey, I'm over here. Maybe you, you might like my work. And as well, when you leave a comment, your name is there. It's there for everyone to see. So anyone else who goes onto that post will see your name and they're far more likely to, you know, if you've got a compelling profile image, they're far more likely to say, hey, I might be interested in what this person is creating and they might click on your profile name and go in and see your work and maybe like some of your images. Maybe they'll even follow you. So definitely get out there, engage, be an active member of the community, be nice, be professional, and above all, just engage, engage, engage. It, it's going to take some time, it's going to take a couple of hours out of your day, but if you're the type of person who's just creating artwork and then you're posting it and you're putting your phone down, you're leaving it, then don't be surprised if your post doesn't get that much engagement. You have to engage, especially within the first hour after posting your image. Now, I'm going to make a video about this in the future, but the first hour after you post your image is the most crucial. They say that after three hours, you stop getting the likes that you were getting during the first uh, three hours. But I would say that the first hour is so important. It's like the golden hour. So, like I said, I'll make a video about this in the future, about how to conduct yourself in that first hour. But what I'm going to say to you right now is, during that first hour after you post, be so active on Instagram, especially with the people that are commenting on your post. Always reply, get out there, like images, get people onto your page because during that first hour, the algorithm is paying very close attention to how your post is doing and what kind of engagement it's getting. And the better engagement it gets, the more engagement it will get because like I said earlier on in this video, the algorithm will say, you know, hey, a lot of people are liking this post so it must be good content. Let's show it to more people and see what happens. They'll show it to more people and more and more and more. And the more engagement you get, the more people will see the post. So that's tip number five, get out there and engage. Tip number six, six be creative as a promoter of your own work. So you've got to be a marketer. It's no longer any good for you to just be a talented artist. You have to be your own publicist, your own promoter, your own marketeer, your own advertiser. You've got to do it all for yourself. So be creative about how you promote your work. When you uh, post an image to your main feed, share that image to your stories as well so that the people who follow you, when they're scrolling through their home feed and they come across the vertical uh, slide of stories from the people that they follow, they'll see your story right there as the first one and they'll see that post, they'll see the little thumbnail and they'll be far more likely to click on the story and click through to your profile and then maybe they'll like that image and engage with the image. That engagement will then help you to get more engagement. So you've got to be creative about how you promote yourself. Even during the day when you haven't posted a new image, you can always share work to your stories and um, even like something that I do is when someone follows me, if I have something to promote like my Etsy page and maybe I've got a deal going on or my Patreon or my YouTube, when someone follows me, I'll send them a nice message welcoming them to the Dark Transmissions page and letting them know that I've got a deal on or I've got a new video out or a new Patreon post. They don't always click on this on the links that I share. They don't always follow through. They don't always engage, but some of them do. And I have made sales this way. So it's very important to be all the time just thinking about new ways that you can promote yourself. And just remember, be creative, be fresh, be original, and you will get that engagement in return. 
So the next tip is number seven, have endless enthusiasm. Now, not a lot of people are going to be able to do this and that's okay. If you don't have enough energy throughout the day, not everyone has the energy or the enthusiasm to be on Instagram four, five, six hours a day and that's okay. But if you can, try to be on Instagram as often as you can throughout the day to, to a reasonable extent. Don't drive yourself crazy being on Instagram, but get onto Instagram and just be enthusiastic. Like I said before, engage, engage, engage. Spend a lot of time on Instagram engaging with people and forming friendships and just being good to the community that you're building up. I always respond to comments on my posts. It doesn't matter if it's days old, I always try to respond to comments to let people know when they're following me that they mean something to me. It's so important for you to be enthusiastic. If you're not enthusiastic about your Instagram page and the work that you create, this will show through. But if you are enthusiastic, that will show through also. And the people who follow you, and maybe even the people who don't follow you, they'll feel that sense of enthusiasm and they'll be far more likely to get involved with what you're doing. So the next tip then is number eight, be consistent. Now I touched on this in a previous video, but I'll touch on it again because it's so important. And when I was talking about it in my previous video, I was more so talking about the kind of content that you're creating. It's important to be consistent in the kind of content that you create, as in your whole feed should look coherent and cohesive and co consistent, all the C words. It should look like all the same work from all the same person. There's no point in sharing a bunch of artwork and then sharing a cool landscape photo that you took. Anyone who has no interest in landscape photos, click, they're gonna unfollow you. So you need to be consistent, but you also need to be consistent with the way you conduct yourself on Instagram. So don't just share a bunch of stories on your page today and then don't share any stories for the next week promoting yourself. You've got to do that every day and you've got to keep it up. It feeds into my previous tip about being enthusiastic. You've got to be consistent in your enthusiasm as well. Every single one of the tips on this list and on my previous video about how to beat the algorithm, you've got to be consistent in what you do. Don't just work your butt off for the next month and then forget about Instagram when you run out of steam you'll find that you will run out of steam. There have been times when I've run out of steam and I wake up in the morning and I'm like, God, the last thing I wanna do is go on Instagram and promote myself. But you know what? I push through it, I get that story shared and I reap the benefits from that in terms of engagement. What happens then is you get through this feeling of kind of lethargy and you just find the energy again. You find your stride and the enthusiasm comes right back in. So that's that tip. Just be consistent with everything that you do. Number nine, tip number nine. Join DM groups. Now, I'm calling them DM groups because to call them engagement pods, that's something that's frowned upon by Instagram and the algorithm and also by um, services like Hype Auditor and Social Blade that monitor your organic um, engagement. So if a product or company wants to work with you, they can go on hypeauditor.com, they can type in your name and they can see what kind of engagement you're getting and whether or not that engagement is organic or paid for or inorganic or artificial. So you want to join DM groups so that you can get some extra organic engagement. What happens is when you join a DM group with like-minded individuals, don't join them with random people that you don't know. And if someone wants to add you to your DM group and you don't know anyone there, maybe don't join that DM group because you can't be sure that they're going to actually engage with your work. Gather around you a group of people that you know and understand and who you appreciate their work and who you know appreciate your work and get involved in a DM group. Every day when you post an image, you can share your image to that group and just say, hey, just posted a new image. Thanks a lot, guys, for the engagement. And they'll all come to your page and comment and like that image. It'll help to boost your engagement within the first crucial hour. But I'll get more to, uh, back to that first crucial hour in a future video, so don't worry about that. There will be more details on that first hour. But the takeaway from this tip, number nine, is to join DM groups. Don't join a massive number of DM groups. Only join one, two, or maybe three DM groups with some quality Instagram accounts that you know are going to provide you with the crucial engagement that you need within that first hour. So the last tip on this tip, uh, on this list, guys, number 10, is to don't be disappointed or don't be disheartened if you can't get to that 1,000 likes within 24 hours. It takes time. It's what we call the grind. You've got to grind every day. You're building and building and building. There was a very large period of time for me when I started out where I couldn't get anywhere near 1,000 likes. And then what happened was at some point because of all the hard work that I was putting in, 
the algorithm just picked up on that and I started getting a lot more likes. Also, the work I was creating, I was really being sensitive to what people were responding to. So when I created a piece of artwork and people didn't respond to it, I'd move away from that and try something else. When I created a piece of artwork that people responded really well to, I would try to go more in that direction. Be sensitive to what people are responding to with your work and follow what they're follow the path that the, that your fans are setting out for you if that makes any sense so just keep grinding keep going put all these tips and tricks and strategies into place be conscious about what you're working on be a little bit self-critical and if you're doing something wrong or if you feel like something is not going right change your course change your direction and see if that helps but above all if you're not able to get to a thousand likes don't be disappointed, don't be disheartened, don't become depressed, and don't take it as a personal thing to you because it's not personal. In all likelihood, if you're creating good work, then there is a huge audience out there for you. They're just not seeing you because of the algorithm. You've got to work around the algorithm, but you've got to figure it out for yourself. Even if you take these top 10 tips and tricks from me, not all of them are going to work for you, or maybe a few of them will work, or maybe all of them will work, but you're still not going to get a thousand likes. You've got to do this yourself. You've got to figure it out yourself, and you've got to build up that strong fan base so you can get to that thousand likes in the 24 hours. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys. That's the top 10 tips and tricks. And if you enjoy this video, if you got anything out of this video at all, I, would, I hope that you'll hit subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you'll see when I bring out future videos. Also, leave a like because I really appreciate that. And definitely, definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video, what you think about my channel. And if you've got any ideas for videos that I can create in the future, whether it's about my artwork or whether it's about Instagram engagement, uh, let me know in the comments. I always appreciate your feedback. It lets me know that I'm going in the right direction. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. But guys... Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I love you all so much. Have an amazing day. Peace. I actually can't believe I did that all in one take. <clears throat> I think I was frothing at the mouth at one point. <laughs>